Hello children. Today we are going to do speech writing. Speech writing is a compulsory question of writing skills section B. What is a speech? All the writing tasks have a purpose. Speech refers to a formal address or discourse delivered to an audience. Writing a speech is to give some information to the people, to persuade them, to convince them or to entertain them. In the writing section, speech writing comes as a very long answer type question of 10 marks with the maximum prescribed word limit of 150 to 200. Generally, there is a choice between a speech and a debate, article or report writing. Any one out of two. You will get two questions out of which you have to do one. Children, any long answer type question of writing skill contains 10 marks. Speech is also of 10 marks where it is split into format, content and expression. Format is of one mark. Here in format, there is no heading or name at the top. It is optional. If you write, it is not wrong. If you don't write, then also it is okay. Here in format comes the opening greetings like you. Greet the audience. Good morning principal teachers and my dear friends or <coughs> good morning audience and closing thanks. Content 5 marks. The value point related to the topic. Example, what are the possible causes for a particular issue? What are its effects? And expression, four marks. Again, expression is split into two marks for grammatical accuracy or spelling and two marks for relevance of ideas and coherence. Before you start your speech, you have to remember certain points in your mind. You have to prepare yourself writing a speech. In order to write a perfect speech, you must be well acquainted with the topic. Use a wide range of synonyms and antonyms. Use easy words, children. Not necessarily pick up difficult words from dictionary which other people cannot understand. But Synonyms of the same words and antonyms. A thorough knowledge of the subject matter, some research and excellent organizational skills are required. Do not use jargon, jargon. Use simple vocabulary and clear arguments so the audience can connect easily. Just after reading the question, think what are you trying to accomplish with your speech? Know the clarity of purpose, why you are going to write the speech, for whom you are going to write, what is the purpose of your writing? Educate, inspire, entertain or argue a point. What exactly you are going to do? Your goals will dictate the tone and structure and result in dramatically different write-up. In case your speech is on such topic that needs persuasion that some people in the audience might have a different view on it, you might need to appeal from the heart while appeasing the intellect too. Flip through dictionaries, biographies and similar sources for quotations by famous people that you might be able to use. Using proverbs, idioms, make your speech beautiful. As we have been told children that speech should be in 200 words, do not exceed your word limit. Nobody has time to read your unnecessary writing. You need to organize and plan your ideas. A perfect speech must consist of three paragraphs. 
paragraph 1 is the opening line which includes salutations, greetings and precise introduction to the topic. Make sure you do not mention your personal details, name, school name, etc. Usually all these details are given in the question, a fictitious name, a fictitious school, but if not mentioned, you write ABC. Example, respected principal, teachers and my dear friends, today I, name given in the question, stand before you all to speak on the topic what is given and give a brief, very short introduction of the topic. Second paragraph is the body of the speech. This is the main part of your writing piece. Here you need to explain the current situation, the problems if any and whether after any corrective actions, betterment in the situation has been observed or not. It may include advantages, disadvantages depending upon the topic in the question. A good idea is to look inside yourself and find out what you feel very deeply about. Always the idea should be your original one. Your issue should reflect what you are and what you care about. Paragraph 3 is the solution or the conclusion of the topic. Remember that whatever you elaborate a problem, whenever you elaborate a problem, Always mention the steps being taken to improvise the situation. Suggest a few solutions as well. The concluding lines should be thanking the audience for their cooperation and their patience. It is very important to conclude with what you have started. Never leave a speech open-ended. Children, there are certain tips to attempt speech writing where you can judge your writing yourself. The first thing is to knowing your audience for whom you are speaking, whether they are, you are speaking for the morning assembly, for your schoolmates, whether you are speaking as a guest for some seminar, who is your audience. Make sure you use language which is suitable for the audience you are addressing to. Usage of complex vocabulary for addressing children is not advisable. Usage of quotes is highly recommended. Quotes can be used at the time of commencement or as an ending statement. A quote in middle of the speech would also be fine. Make sure you write in paragraphs. Leave a line between paragraphs to make it look clean. Presentation is very important in English. Expression is very important. Make sure you double check your grammatical accuracy and spellings. Maintain the sequence and coherence. Maintaining a sequence and coherence is a must as they carry four marks. Always plan before you pen. Just make a list of all your important points on the rough sheet. So that you do not forget relevant points while writing. Don't worry about finding the perfect words. Just let your creativity flow and get it all out. You know what happens when you start writing once. If you do not prepare a rough draft in note form or in a point form, anything. You write one point, import, less important point you write in the beginning. More important point you forget. Then you all mix up. And this way, you lose marks in coherence and presentation. So if you jot down the rough points, it will be easier for you to proceed step by step. Then underline the main points. It is very important. Use a pencil and scale for underlining so that the evaluator can easily find out your views. Don't try to put too many ideas into speech. Students, as you are writing a speech, that means you are speaking to someone, you are talking to someone. So try to make it more conversational 
with informal touch include your audience in between by asking questions like do you know have you ever imagined could you please tell me these kind of questions may keep audience interested in your speech don't exceed the prescribed word limit always begin with your strongest point you can accommodate the weaker ones in between and end with another strong point give your personal opinion in one or two lines it is very important that you do not deviate from the topic use short sentences it's better to write two simple sentences than one long complicated sentence children you can add fictitious data or survey conducted by some leading newspaper or by some ngo it will also enhance the standard of your writing so that's what the speech writing is we have discussed what points should be kept in mind how you should present what are the areas where you score marks and where you lose marks here is the assignment which you need to practice at home the question is as mukul mahima of alps public school write a speech to be delivered in school assembly highlighting the importance of cleanliness suggesting that the state of cleanliness reflects the character of its citizen do not exceed 200 words this question had come in all india 2018 here you need to write about cleanliness how important it is what if not if you are not clean what are it, what, what can be the consequences what is the real meaning of cleanliness what could be uh, 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 your support as a children how could you help in keeping your uh, house your neighborhood your school your country your city clean and what awareness can be created to the people what could the government do so try to take all aspects when you write second question is the recent rise in incidents of violent behavior of students is a matter of concern for all the problem can be curbed if students learn how to manage anger write a speech on the topic in 15200 words to be delivered in school morning assembly again it was a cbsc compartment question of 2018 here children this question you have to talk about anger management in children you might you know how uh, impatient today's youth have become so first you can write what are the reasons why this anger has taken children in the in its grip because of lack of patience uh, uh, due to uh, social networking sites and over desirous children over exposed to this modern world there are several reasons then as a consequence what the children are doing these days how they are talking to parents losing value losing interest in education and what could be the solution how this anger to be managed here you can write meditation and pranayam doing yoga uh, uh, by by uh, uh, by uh, the help of the parents how teachers could help the children how they can have a uh, patience counseling awareness cover your answer with all possible points thank you it's all for today tomorrow i'll come again with another topic of writing skills thank you have a good day